Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield. It's great to be coming to you on this Tuesday today. I hope that you're enjoying the blessings of the Lord, and I hope that God's presence is with you today. I want to talk to you about America today. There's a scripture I want to read here uh, this morning in Psalms 33 and 12. It says, Blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord, and the people who he has chosen for his inheritance. What a great scripture that is. And it also says in uh, Proverbs 14, it says that uh, righteousness exalts a nation, and a sin is a reproach to any people. I want to talk to you a little bit about America today. You know, we've been blessed in this country. It's been a great blessing. You know, nowhere in the Bible you can identify that says this is America in the Bible because it seemed like it's it's just nothing you can really pinpoint because we're only about 200 plus years old in the, the existence. And back when the Bible was written, there was many, many uh, countries that were more important during those days. But we have come into the come into the light in the last several years. We have been a blessing to the Jewish people. God, I believe, has raised us up this, for the missionary work around the world. After World War II, you know, missions became a strong point with many outlets, many radio broadcasts and everywhere spreading the gospel. That is a wonderful thing. And it is a thankful that God has blessed us in such a great way. And the Bible also tells us that uh, some of the events that are going to happen in the last days, and we know that things are coming about. You know, there's one thing that concerns me very much today, and that is the moral decay in our moral, de moral decay rather in our country. We are seeing uh, things that we have never really seen before, and it seems like they have uh, accumulated, and the moral decay has become more pronounced as the days go by. The laxness on marriage and the laxness on our moral values has become something that is really a concern not only to many of the church people, but to God as well. And I believe that God is concerned about uh, the things that we have. There's a letdown in the family in America today. There's many things that are trying to bring this country down, this great nation. You know, I do know one thing for sure. When the rapture of the church takes place, there's going to be lots of people in this country that are going to make the rapture, and they're going to go to heaven. And when they're left by, and when this world is left behind here without the soul of the earth, without the Christian, you talk about moral decay is accelerating. We're now getting to that place now when the church of Jesus Christ needs to come forward and needs to speak up about values and those things that's made our country great. Yes, our country is on the verge of uh, a judgment here, and I hate to say what happens when the church is gone, and I believe that's imminent right now. I believe we're getting close to the rapture when Jesus could come any day. Prepare yourself. If you're listening to this broadcast today and you're not ready to meet God, it's time to give some serious thought about praying and asking God to forgive you of your sins and wash you in the blood of the Lamb. It's really an amazing thing about how God has brought our country into existence. Uh, you know, everything that we have stand, stood for in the last, last many years is coming, is coming to light right now where it seems like there's a letdown on many things. Many of our values that we have cherished uh, seem to have just gone out the window. And folks, I want to tell you, God will not, God will not stand by and look at situations in countries he sees the underground church in America today. I'm not talking about Democrats or Republicans today. I'm talking about Christians uh, and those that are ready to meet God and on their way to heaven. And folks, I want to tell you what, it's a wonderful thing to be able to know that we're living in a, a great country today. We've had freedom. But you know, freedom in Jesus Christ is the greatest freedom of all. The scripture says in John, if he shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. If you're bound by some of these things and you just can't seem to get loose from some of these things that are hindering you, it's time to fall on your face and call on God and ask him to help you. Yes, I believe with all my heart, righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people. Let us remember that sin is a big reproach to God. 
I thank you so much today for listening to this broadcast. I pray that it'll be a blessing to you today and you'll take it to heart, everything that I said, and pray for our nation, America, because I love America so much. I just, I just hurt when I see what's going on in our country today. May God bless you today and give you strength and power in his mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.